over at LMDC. It's a just a crazy diligent effort to stop anything from coming in. Like these white discs labeled discovery material. They get very sophisticated and they're using real attorneys names and addresses. But take a closer look under this flap. And they're taking advantage of folks that are in here that have addiction. And you can count it. 49 strips of a drug called Suboxone. Jail director Jerry Collins alleges Kiana Decius was caught smuggling drugs disguised as mail into his jail not once. She was arrested on Friday. But twice. And then we intercepted another one we believe coming from her on Monday. He says it was a big Big win for LMDC. It's yes, every win is, is, is a big win when we stop that from coming in. And something jail staff say they've been seeing more of lately. It's been an amazing turnaround so far. We have more work to be done, but we're certainly headed in the right direction. The implementation of the new body scanners, there's been over uh, 200 times that the body scanner has caught contraband coming into the facility. LMDC Corrections Officer Daniel Johnson says it's one of many ways the jail has been trying to combat a long-standing issue of drug use in its facility. <laughs> Another, the implementation of a canine narcotics unit. There's been over 90 different instances where contraband has been removed uh, due to indications from the canine unit. Johnson says it's been a huge turnaround for the jail that used to see overdoses daily to now rarely, though they do still happen. We're, we're never going to get to where we want to be fast enough. All right, well, we're going to focus on. But with an emphasis on transparency and openness to criticism. You know, we brought in several advocacy groups, gave them tours of the facility, showed them our challenges. LMDC hopes they'll be able to overcome some of those challenges. We've seen our rise in, in suicide attempts go up, our rise in folks that need mental health treatment. Also, staffing shortages. Colin says they're currently looking to fill about 100 open officer jobs. He says filling those positions will lead to to even more drug busts in the future, saving more inmates' lives. Just being um, forward thinking on how we're dealing with it, it's, it's not gonna stop. And in looking ahead to next week, Director Collins said LMDC will be receiving machines that can help sort through and pick out some of this disguised mail, just the latest in a continued effort here at the jail. In Louisville, Connor Steffen, WHAS 11, on your side.